Hey, what is going on guys? Rudanel here, come back at you with another batch tutorial. I'm gonna get the Windows command line fired up right here. Bring it right down so you guys can see it, and let's get to, let's get to some good stuff here. Actually, before we get things started, I think I will fire up Notepad++ and create a new batch script. Now, if you guys remember how to do this, we're gonna save a new file. Uh, in my case, I'm going to save it in my current path, which is in C, let's see, users, John Hammond, and then... That's all we really need. I'm going to change this to a simple, I'll call it file.bat. Okay. Now if we dir inside of our console, we'll be able to find this file.bat is right here. Okay. So now we're going to be looking at echo. Now if you guys remember this command, I think I kind of slipped it into another video on accident, but echo is the program or the command inside the batch scripting language that's going to allow us to display things. Display information, display variables, display text, display strings, really anything. So uh, let's go ahead and do just that. I'm going to create a variable first thing. I'm going to set, let's see, I'll zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see this too. Okay. Now if we set string, equal hello there world and now if we type in echo which is our command remember we're using and we'll pass in the value here of string and now if we go over here and run this I think I called it file it's going through set string equals hello there world so it sets the variable and it displays it and there it is hello there world now there are a little bit of interesting things here, because remember, we could have passed in these quotation marks like you would normally do with the string, but when you run this, remember, the string variable interprets it along with echo, and it displays those quotation marks, which we don't really want, so we're not going to end up using those. But what if we didn't actually display the string variable? What if we actually just displayed hello there world? So we're not using the string variable anymore. We're just actually using the the uh, the text "Hello, their world," and there it is. But if we pass in those quotation marks one more time, it's still going to interpret them. So we're not going to actually use those with Echo. As normal with Batch, we're going to try and avoid those quotation marks when we're working with a string. But uh, they're a little. It's a little different. Echo is definitely quirky compared to a lot of other programming languages, and uh, it's strange. So let's actually look at a whole other thing, though, because you kind of need to be able to create new lines, right? What if you just wanted to be able to have a little bit of white space in your program? So, uh, I'll use a command echo, and what if we just echoed absolutely nothing? If we run file, and it's running abs it's, it's echo nothing out, all it tells us is echo is on. Uh, okay. That's a little weird. What does that mean? <laughs> Well, why don't we take a, why don't we talk about that a little later? The real thing that we're doing here with Echo is when we're trying to display a new line, we don't actually pass nothing to it. What we actually do is we put a period at the very end of it. And when we do that, it'll display a blank line. So see this gap right here? That's actually a blank line that's displayed. Now, if we were to do Echo with out, if, like if we used a space and then followed after the echo, and then we put the period, it'll actually display a period. So uh, echo is definitely quirky, you know, batch is quirky to begin with, it's just a little weird. But we can just do a couple more of those things, but remember if we didn't use that it would display echo is on. Which is a little, uh, is a little strange, we're gonna have to take a look at that in a whole other video. But that's really all there is to it. With echo, you're just displaying information, whether it could be the string variable that we're passing to it, it could be uh, a variable that we're actually passing to it, like I just said, <laughs> or it could just be some plain old text, it could be numbers, one, two, three, four, five, we can run this, I'll get rid of this echo line, we don't really need it, and if we ran that, it's displaying one, two, three, four, five, but remember, it is treating this as a string, not the number 12,345. So there's some pretty interesting things that you kind of have to keep in mind with Echo. It's 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 very strange, but once you get the hang of it in Batch, once you get the hang of everything in Batch, it kind of makes a lot more sense, and you can really get a you can really get around a lot of the quirks. But uh, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Something real simple, just the Echo command, and you can use this in your shell. Obviously, this doesn't have to be inside the uh, the command line. So if we do Echo string, we get Hello there world. So there you go. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I didn't screw up too much. <laughs> and, uh, you know, 
Thank you guys for watching. If you could like the video, that'd be fantastic. If you could leave me a comment, I would really, really enjoy that. I absolutely love hearing from you guys what you want to see, how you're enjoying the series so far, if you actually are enjoying the series so far, that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, maybe subscribe. If, if that's what you want to do, by all means, do your thing. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.